Hello there. I hope you're doing well. It's morning here for me. Whatever time it is for you, I hope you packed a lunch because I think we're going to be here for a while. I just got out of the shower. I've done my skincare, my red light. Lucy and I have done the walk, the whole thing. Next up, I'm going to dry and style my hair. Then I have some new makeup and I think we might even do an outfit at the end. So it's going to be a lot of fun today. Really girly day. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over. 50 where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want all the good tips and hot little ideas, sign up for my Sunday morning email newsletter. It's listed down below. I send out a newsletter every Sunday morning. Clearly, that's why it's called the Sunday morning email newsletter with all the little tips and tricks and good finds I've found throughout the week. It's really handy. It's really free. I think you're going to love it. Just click the link down below. It's super easy to sign up. I've had so many of you ask me how I do my hair lately. We're going to go do that first. I'm going to talk about the hair care products that I've been using and loving for a long time now. And just some little tips and tricks I've learned for this particular hairstyle if you're interested in a shorter cut. Then I have some new makeup that I picked up at the drugstore. All really fun and interesting. All very, very affordable. And then I have a new outfit <laughs> that I picked up. You can see it in last week's vlog, and I'll be doing that at the very end of the video. So with that, I think we ought to get started. Of course, I just washed my hair this morning, and I am still using the Hyel line of hair care products. I don't know if you've heard about this. I haven't talked about it in a little while. I love this hair care line. It makes my hair so soft and smooth, <laughs> and you know, my hair is bleached to within an inch of its life. Just about so I don't deserve soft and smooth hair. It should feel a little straw-like, but it doesn't. And I really attribute it to this line, Hiel Hair Care. I actually started using this a little more than a year ago. I love the way that it makes my hair look, but it gets even better. This line of hair care is holistic, sustainably manufactured. I mean, the company is one of those really good companies and the founder is really connected to an ecological program that we can sustain here on the planet. If you go over to the High L website and look under the About Us page, you'll really be impressed. It's just a really great company. I love their products. Now I use their shampoo and for most of the time that I've been using it, I use the Hydrate Mask as the conditioner. However, they just came out with this volume conditioner. It goes with the volume shampoo. And I'll tell you, I tried the volume conditioner when they were just testing it. You know, they had little test bottles and they sent it to me. It really made a difference in the volume of my hair and the body of my hair. And when I ran out of the little sample, product sample, I was so sad. It took a few months for them to come to market with the product. I'm so glad it's here now. So I used the Hydrate Shampoo and the Hydrate conditioner really really beautiful products then to style my hair I use two things first I use the hydrate leave-in conditioner and then I use the volume spray and I'll go ahead and do that this morning what I do with the leave-in conditioner is I just spray it around my hair just a light coat and then work it in a little bit with my fingers so that it kind of distributes throughout the hair and when I'm drying my hair it's gonna move from hair strand to hair strand anyway and and then with the volume spray, what I'll do is I mostly hit it towards the base of my scalp in the root area where I want a little bit of lift. So I'll just put that on and then work it in. If you haven't checked out this hair care line, you might want to do it. It's really good. It's a higher end hair care line, but it's less expensive than the other high end hair care line. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Really clean, no chemicals in it, just really clean ingredients. And it makes your hair look great and it's very affordable or a good quality shampoo. So I think it's just a good deal all the way around. What I do next with my hair is I'm going to go ahead and dry it with just this regular hair dryer and then I'll go in with my Revlon One Step and start doing the styling. I've just found that it's quicker to dry it with a regular hair dryer to begin with and I'll dry it to the point where it feels dry but then when you squeeze it tight, you can feel a little bit of moisture in the hair shaft. The 
So my hair is almost all dry now. There's just a little bit of moisture in it that's going to help with the styling portion. Before I start in with the Revlon One Step, I'm going to go ahead and clip up sections of my hair so I can focus on just the area that I'm working on. So the very top of my head and then just around the middle section. I'm gonna clip both those up. And then I start in bending my hair with the Revlon One Step. I love this thing. I have one from Hot Tools and it seems like I go back and forth. I'll be on a Hot Tools kind of kick for a while and then I'll go back to my One Step. The difference between the Hot Tools and the One Step is you can see the shape of the One Step. It's not round, it's more oblong. And the Hot Tools is completely round. And it really does change how your hair looks the hot tools makes it look a little bit rounder which makes sense and this gives it a little bit more lift and then it kind of straightens out towards the bottom you guys will see as I start doing this And you can see how much volume and shine I get from just this little process. I really think it's a combination between the high L products and the Revlon One Step because as you move that brush through your hair, it really increases the volume and the shine content. So nice volume, lots of shine. And what I do next is I then go do my makeup because I want to leave my hair pretty much just like this so that it cools down and it sets that bend in my hair. When I'm doing my makeup, it's just kind of cooling down and then I can come back in and style it and keep that same volume and that same bend in the hair. I picked up some new makeup this week. I don't know why. It just seemed like the fun thing to do, but I found a few things that I think are really, really cool. The first thing kind of surprised me, and this is a set of makeup sponges from Profusion. Look at that cool little package. I don't know why I was so attracted to this because you guys know I've been in love with the Sigma sponge for forever. Now it seems like forever, but this little set looked really cool. Look at all the little sponges up here and the bigger sponges down there. I thought this would be fun to try. So we'll be digging into these today. In addition, Revlon, their Color Stay Foundation has been one of my holy grails for a long time. If I'm not going to use the Dior Forever Skin Glow, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay. I love this foundation. And to be honest with you, the difference between the look on my skin between this and the Dior is really minimal. It's a beautiful foundation. However, they reflect formulated it. So this is the new formulation. I think it has a little bit more sunscreen and maybe some vitamin E, that sort of thing. You can see the difference in the color. This is the old one that I've been using. This is the new one. I'll have the color listed down below. Now this new formulation comes in two finishes, a matte and a natural. I went ahead and got the natural because matte just doesn't look good on my skin. For some reason, it just flattens me out. So I went ahead and picked up the natural. I'm going to be trying this today. I'm really curious to see if I like it as much as the formula that I have been using. I also picked up this really pretty blush from Physicians Formula. Look at that color. Isn't that just so pretty? This is the Butter Believe It Murmur, mur, Murmur, Mew Mew. I don't know how to pronounce that butter blush. So I thought that was so very pretty. This is in the color Pink Sands. I thought I would give this highlight from Melania World. I love so much from Milani. This is Strobe Light 01. Isn't that pretty? 
And then finally, I'm trying a mascara from Honest Beauty. I don't think I've tried their mascara before. I do like what I've tried from Honest Beauty, so this will be a fun thing to give a whirl today. I'm going to start out with putting just a little bit of powder on my eyebrows because when I do my skincare, it gets all up in my eyebrows. <laughs> and then it's hard to get any product to set down. So this just kind of soaks up any oil and that sort of thing that end up in my eyebrows after my morning skincare routine. So I'm just gonna brush that through. I'm gonna start with the Dermatology. This is their number one primer. I really like this primer. I've been using some primers that I've just had around that I was just using up, <laughs> that sort of thing, but I'm really enjoying this. They actually sent this to me about a month ago, and you can see it's just like a gel formulation. Really nice, really blurring. Watch when it goes on my skin. You're going to be surprised at the blurring that it does. And it really is sort of a gripping primer, so it hangs on to what goes on after it. And you can see it just sort of blurs out the pores, fills things in. I'm going to put on a little bit more of my City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss. This really just helps to plump my lips up while I'm doing my makeup. So when I'm ready to put my lipstick on, I have a little bit of a fuller lip, a little bit more hydrated. I'm going to start in and just define the brows. You guys know I do the detail work on my brows at the end of my makeup, but I do like to get the line in so that when I'm working with my eyeshadow, I know exactly what the area is that I'll be working with. This is the Beauty Pie Under Eye Genius. A little bit under each eye. And then for eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. Still loving this one, clearly. I've been using it, gosh, has it been a year? Has it been a bit a year by now? What I'll do with this sometimes is if I'm not really going to do my makeup, I'll just put a little bit of this on my eyelids to cover up the veining and discoloration so that when I go out, it just looks a little bit smoother. So you can see the difference. This is the lid with the Paint Pot, the Painterly on, and this is the lid without it. It really does cover up that kind of thin skin look. I'm going to be doing a real simple eye look today and I'll be using the Nudes of New York palette. This is a classic palette. It's so affordable. I think it's been out about three years now, two and a half, three years, maybe longer. If you like neutrals, this is just perfect because it's got just about every neutral color in this palette. Very, very nice formulations. The colors are spot on. Just a really good handy palette to have in your repertoire. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Angie 5 03 brush and I'm going to dip it into this cream color right here and that's going to go right underneath the brow just to add a little bit of lightness and lift to that area. I'm bringing it down almost to the transition area. Now I'm going to dip my brush into this color Explorer right here. It's kind of a neutral brown tone. I'm going to load up my brush, tap off the excess, and then that's going to go right on that outside corner transition space of my lid. And I'm going to start right there and just work it towards the center. I want most of that eyeshadow color, the pigment, to be in that outside area. And then what's left on the brush, I'm just going to move over on the lid so that the darkest point, the most pigment, is right here. And then I'm just going to take what's left on the brush and move that down onto the lid. Same thing on the other side. Place that brush right in the corner of that transition area. Work it in and then start moving that over into the crease area. And then what's left on the brush is going to go down on the lid. Now I'm going to take my finger and go back into that first shade right here. And that's going to go on the inside corner of my movable lid just to lighten up that area a little bit. And by using my finger, I'm going to get more pigment from that color. Now I'm going to go back in with that same fluffy brush and I'm just going to make sure it's all blended in really well. 
So this is the Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Makeup. It says 24 hours. I've never worn my makeup for 24 hours. I don't think, have you? This is for normal to dry skin. So this is the natural finish. If you have oily skin, you might wanna try the matte finish, but I went ahead and went with this. So I'm gonna start with just a couple of pumps on the back of my hand right here, and that's gonna go all over the face. It might be a little bit light. I had the choice between a couple of of colors and I just thought it would be easier to add a little bit of warmth than to have it be too dark. So I'm just going to tap that around. Then I'm going to take my BK Beauty 101 brush and just start pressing that into my skin. And it probably is a little bit too light, but it was a better choice. At least I think it was a better choice than the next color, which I thought was quite a bit darker. Just pressing that in. Now I'm gonna take this new Perfusion sponge. What I did is I dampened this sponge. I'm gonna be using this one, the fluffier one, and this one, which is one of those tiny little ones. I can't wait to use this. This is so little cute. It's like a little niblet. <laughs> so dampen sponge, and then I'm just gonna go through and press that into the skin. Okay, what I can say so far is I don't think I like this formulation as much as the other one. <laughs> I've got some polka dot pores. It looks a little bit dry in spaces and it doesn't look as dewy and moist as the other formulation did. I'm not sure what's going on here. I prepped my face exactly like I usually do. So let's see. You know how sometimes a foundation will sort of settle in and look better as time goes on? Maybe that's going to happen. I don't know. I just don't even feel like the coverage is quite as good as the other foundation either. So I'm going to put a little bit more in a couple spots, just a tiny bit more. You can see right there. I'm going to do it right here in here and on my nose and see if that solves some problems. Okay, so that, I don't know, see how it's just, it's not blending in as nicely as it could. Well, it's gonna be sad <laughs> if this is not as good as the other one. I mean, look at my really close up mirror. Yeah, this is just not looking as good as the other formulation. That's kind of sad, huh? Anyway, let's move on. Maybe it'll improve with time. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Under Eye Concealer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the areas that that foundation didn't quite do the job. This is my BK Beauty 205 brush, which I love to put my concealer on with. It's a little bit smaller than Angie's concealer brush, but it just seems to work for me. Now in with that teeny tiny little sponge. Isn't this cute? Like a little miniature sponge. I love these sponges, by the way. They're really, really performing beautifully. They have a nice texture to them, like they're soft, but they have a little bit of oomph behind them. I love this pointy tip, and look, you've got this here. This is a good set. I don't remember how much it was, but it was super affordable. I picked it up at Walmart. Loving this sponge set so far. Now I'm going in with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder, getting a little bit on my brush, tapping it off, and that's gonna go right underneath my eyes along my forehead and down along my chin. Back in with that sponge and I'm just gonna press that all in. In with the KVD, this is their gel contour. Still loving this. I just like the lightness of the color. It's just so sheer, and yet it really does do the job. Under my chin, I bring it up a little bit in the jowly areas so that it kind of pushes that jowl area back a little bit in space. My stipple brush. It just does such a beautiful job of contouring and looking so subtle. I really do love it. Isn't that pretty? It just is a beautiful contour. I think the more I use it, the more I love this. 
It's just so nice and very sheer. It doesn't look like you have something sticking on top of your skin. It's really pretty. Okay, now it's time to jump into the Better Believe It Bra. <laughs> Better Believe It Brush, Better Believe It Blush from Physicians Formula. This is their from their Butter Collection. I really, really loved this in the store. I thought it was so very pretty, but now I'm wondering if it's going to be way too light. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of swirl it around with my blush brush and start tapping that in and see what we get. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's nice and subtle, soft. Gosh, it just blends in really well, what the other side looks like. Look at that. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty. I thought once I sat down it was going to be too light, but I think it's really pretty and a great choice for spring. Just a beautiful spring color. Isn't that nice? Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is, I think this is the 103 brush, yeah, from BK Beauty, and I'm just going to blend that in. I like that. It's a pretty look. Nice and subtle, not too loud. Now I'm going to go into the Milani highlighter. This is in Strobe Light. How many highlighters are named Strobe Light? I think like half of them almost. I thought this was really pretty. This is color 01, so that tells me it's the lightest in the collection of highlighters. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. There it is on the back of my hand. I think I better be fairly gentle in my application, which is not my strong suit. Sometimes getting a little bit on my brush. I'm going to tap it off and just really gently hit the tops of my cheeks and a little bit on the front. I think this is a pretty color. It's a very champagne-y color. I'm gonna go over my lids a little bit. Now back in with that 103 brush and just blend it in. What do you guys think about the cheeks? I think it came out really, really pretty. I do like the highlighter. I love the blush. I think it all looks pretty good. So just to finish up the whole complexion look, I'm cleaning off the top because it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> It's the Hourglass Dim Light Powder. This is kind of just the icing on the cake. That's how I feel about it. Big fluffy brush from Refer. I love this brush. It is the number 30 brush. If you want a big fluffy brush, it's going to last you a lifetime. This is the one. I'm just going to swirl it around into that dim light and that's just going to be dusted all over the face. And you can see that just puts the nicest little glow on things. I'm going to make sure that my concealer is all tapped in and everything is all smooth. This is my Milani Make It Last setting spray. I really do like this. Still loving the Refer Eyelash Curler. Best eyelash curler I have found, bar none. I think it's like 20 something dollars worth every single penny. It's so good. It just curls your lashes so much better than the drugstore brands that I used forever and ever and ever. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lay Liner to tight line with, still loving these. And what I'm gonna hit is just the bottom of those lashes. I'm not so much looking to get it on the skin as I just wanna fill in the bottom of those lashes. Before I try the Honest Beauty Mascara, I'm going in with my tried and true. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base. I have tried mascara without this. I've been using this for a couple of years now. The difference in the length of my lashes when I use this is phenomenal. I keep threatening to do a video on it. <laughs> I think I need to do that or at least get it on the calendar. So I'm just going to put a coat of this on my lashes. Oh my gosh, I just realized this already has a mascara base in the tube. <laughs> I didn't know that before. So if you unscrew the kind of peach color down here, it's a mascara base. I think that's kind of brilliant. I'll have to use that next time. And then the mascara wand is on the other end. I think that's kind of magical. So here's the mascara wand. You can see it right here. And let's give it a whirl. I didn't even know there was a base. It's pretty magical. Holy smokes, wow. Look at the length of my lashes from just one coat. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> Look, it even got right up here on my eye. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I wonder what coat number two is gonna be like. I'll tell you, Honest Beauty, you guys are kicking it. Wow, look at that, that's from two coats. Isn't that amazing? Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. 
I'm gonna do one more thing before I go in for lipstick. It's looking to me that the eyes are just a little bit of a flatter color than I want the rest of the face to look. So I'm gonna go in with this blush, that same fluffy brush from the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy line. Get a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna go into the transition area with that blush. And I think that's really going to help pull everything together. Look at the difference on this side. Everything coordinates a little bit better with a bit of that pink from that blush. So I think that that's gonna work. It just softens everything up a little bit. I think that's pretty. So I went ahead and wiped off my City Beauty lip gloss and it does just fluff my lips up a little bit before I go into lipstick. So this is the NYX Lip Pistol in Whipped Caviar and this is the BK Beauty lipstick in Self Love. I am on a love train with these lipsticks. It's funny because I've had them I think a couple of years now. I think they've been out a couple of years and I just am really, it's really working for me right now. The formula, it's creamy, they stay on, the colors are gorgeous. I'm just really all over them right now. Here's the lipstick. The filming gremlins have struck and eaten the rest of the audio for this video. And as I'm watching it back, I'm amazed at how much I talk. <laughs> anyway, I'll be filling you in of what it is I'm supposed to be saying during the rest of the video. To style my hair, I've been using the Axe Classic Pomade, which I have found really gives me a lot of height and body at the top of my hair. And it seems to last all day long and I'm really enjoying it. This is really easy to do. You can see I'm just touching it to the areas of my roots right underneath my hairline to give more body and height to that area. And I just am using the tiniest amount, a little bit on my very fingertips, not very much. And I'm just placing it right at the bottom of that root area in the back and in the area of my part where I want a little bit more lift and body. Then to style my hair, I use a pick. It's so inexpensive. It's one of those that came in a little bundle of combs for $3.99 at the store. It's nothing fancy. And I'll use that pick to back comb the areas of my hair that I want a little bit more lift and body in and then I use my hairspray either Kenra 18 or Kenra 25 to spray that back combed area and then I let it dry for a few minutes. So I generally spray underneath my hair mostly to keep that lift and that back combing in there. So I'll work around all the areas that I want a little bit more volume usually along the hairline in the back and along the part and just a slight back combing a little bit of hairspray and then i'll use that same pick to style my hair and it goes really really quickly just very very lightly laying the top hair on top of that back combing and leaving the lift from the back combing and the axe classic pomade and it seems to really work well and it gives me a lot more look of a body and thicker, fuller hair. This outfit is from the Talbot haul that I did last week. It is the black t-shirt that has a little bit longer sleeves and the nice scalloping along the sides. You can see in the white jeans, I am loving the white jeans. They are so comfortable and they look so cute. I really am enjoying everything I picked up at Talbot's. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate it when you take some time to spend it with me. <laughs> Make it a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.